Welcome, beautiful goddesses, to Teach Travel Talk. I am Megan, and my mission, goal, and vision is to help guide you through the crazy journey of life and of being a human and having this human experience. Because until we realize that we are the creators of our reality, we can either make life very difficult for ourselves or we can make our world incredible but it's all about how we perceive our world and the world around us so this is for you yes you the one listening so that I can uplift and empower you to look within yourself and find that inner light love guidance and intuition that will lead you to unbecome who the world told you to be and bring you back to who you were meant to be and who you were supposed to become in this life. So let's dive deep into conversations that will bring you teachable moments to implement throughout your daily life and to help reprogram the way we think. Welcome my soul tribe and welcome to Teach Travel Talk where we are here to teach one another how to travel through this human experience by talking and sharing our stories, tools, and skills. I'm so excited that you are here and I'm so grateful for all of you who are on here listening to my words. It means a lot to me and I hope they impact you in an amazing way. So, If you have not come over and joined the tribe, the links will be down below. For those of you, it is facebook.com slash teach travel talk tribe. And if you cannot tell my voice today, I have not um, been feeling well the last few days. Just my, my voice just seems to not be here right now. And I know this happens a lot when there's huge changes in the weather and it's been really, really hot and then for two days it's been really cold and wet and downpouring. So I just want to do a little (laughs) mini session today and keep it short so I can preserve my voice. And... This topic is going to be just about that, taking time to help yourself and to give yourself space and time to heal and what the body needs from you. So let's begin. So welcome again. I'm so excited that you're here. And right now, I'm experiencing what many of us are experiencing and that is when sometimes our body just needs a break. We have been overworking it. We have been overthinking and maybe stressing or getting overwhelmed or getting anxious a lot of the times and this causes our body to go into this weak state because we are consumed by so much and our bodies are listening to us and when we're not taking proper care of our body it's going to fight back so I honor my body and what it is telling me right now and that is to rest and to save my voice and even right now It's telling me that I still want to share a message and that this message is really important that we need to have self-care. We need to find time to slow down and take care of ourselves. And that means sometimes getting the rest that we need. This means sometimes, you know, not eating what is bad or convenient for us, but actually making ourselves something nutritious that can feed and help our body to get rid of whatever circulating in our body right now and releasing it and 
you know, helping ourselves by drinking a lot of water and flushing everything out and drinking teas and just filling everything up with positivity and not getting stuck in this feeling of not feeling good (laughs) because we tend to want to stay stuck there and really sit and wallow in our sickness um, instead of letting it just be what it is which is a reminder that our body sometimes cannot do it all it is not a machine and it needs breaks it needs time to work on itself and to heal and when we are filling it with so many different things it really stops our body from working in alignment with itself and working in harmony with itself. So that is the message I'm taking away from my body right now is that, you know, I need some time and obviously this weather and just telling me, you know, that I need a break and I can't do it all in one day. And it's okay to listen to your body when it's telling you, hey, sleep in a little bit today. We need that extra rest. Oh, maybe I need a nap today. Maybe I need to do some yoga, do some meditating, do some journaling to release those pent up feelings and ask myself, why do I feel like this? What's going on? What do you need from me? and connecting our mind and our body and getting them back on the same page because many times with this it is that we have disconnected the two and they're not agreeing on what you need and we have to tap back in and connect with that on what our body really needs at any given time and it's hard when We have been on autopilot for so long that taking breaks for ourselves seems impossible. It seems that we don't have enough time, but there is always time to have self-care in your routine, even if it's for 10 or 15 minutes. It's necessary. It is so necessary. And you have to find that time. Whether that means you give up watching a show for that long or, you know, not going to Starbucks that day. It's finding these little bits of time that we can help ourselves and our needs. Because you cannot fill up someone else's cup if you are not filling up your own first then you are giving from nothing and I want you to give yourself the love light and healing you deserve before you can give that out to other people and I know it's something that we all must work on and I hope you find it today I hope you find a little you time (laughs) for you to figure out what your body needs what have you not been doing that it's been begging you forever to do but anytime you think of it you stop it from emerging maybe it's been telling you to go for a walk maybe it's been telling you to go down to the park with your kids maybe it's been telling you to reach out to someone and talk to them about how you've been feeling Maybe it's reconnecting with old friends. Maybe it's connecting with new friends. Maybe you've been wanting to start a new hobby. Or maybe you've been wanting to find a group of people who are interested in the same things you are. Which Facebook is excellent for finding that. What have you been telling yourself you've been wanting to do 
Maybe you're too scared or, again, worried that you don't have enough time to do it. But we find stuff. (laughs) We find time for social media. We find time to watch the news or to watch TV. We have time to sit in traffic and we can do this. We can find time to heal ourselves, to love ourselves, and to keep going with this commitment of self-care and self-love. Because our self-love and our self-care has to be the most important thing in our lives. It doesn't mean or diminish that love and care for other people. It just means, again, that you're filling up your cup first so that you can give even more to other people. More love, more light, more caring. Wouldn't you love that to be able to give more? But when you feel so stressed out and spread thin, well, it's because you're not filling up your cup. So please, fill up your cup because you are worth it. You are deserving. And your body is trying to tell you something. So listen. Listen to the words your body is trying to tell you. Where it's trying to guide you. Because all of us have an intuition. We just haven't tapped into it in a really long time and it's scary but you can do it I believe in you because you are important you are worthy and you are deserving so take some time today to do some self-care especially especially if you're not feeling well take this time to love on yourself and find those things that helped to move it and release it from your body. I hope you've enjoyed this because this is definitely just a mini, mini session because of the way I can even feel my voice. It um, kind of has no more power left, but that's okay. I'm going to give it some much needed rest. And I hope you all have a magical day full of wonder and of self-love and self-care. And until next Tuesday, my beautiful tribe, I will see you over at facebook.com slash teach travel talk tribe where you will get even more information on how to help yourself. And I can't wait to see you there. So until next time, namaste.